A new program is getting results for kids in the hospital by keeping them close to home. Until now, families had to move out of the area to get treatment for a life-threatening disease. News 6 Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor explains how the transplant program is getting results for your health. Infants and children in need of life-saving transplant surgeries are getting some help thanks to a new program. And it is not easy for families at that time when they're already under a lot of duress and stress having a sick child and then picking up everything and moving to a whole different area of the country. Dr. Rajan Madhawan takes care of premature and sick newborns at Florida Hospital. He tells us they perform open heart surgery, kidney and blood marrow transplants for children, but the liver was left out. So I personally have taken care of many of these patients that uh, needed these services or at least an evaluation for transplant who had to be transferred out and it was Heartbreaking for families not to be able to stay local. Patients and their families have been traveling down to Miami for treatment. Dr. Thomas Chin and his team at Florida Hospital have performed over 600 adult liver transplants with some of the best results in the country. It's one thing that we found for our adult program is that patients who actually were in need of transplant you know, weren't, weren't actually getting any, any care being referred to hospice and transplant when we came here became a viable option. We hope the same thing happens with the pediatric patients as well. Dr. Chin says children especially need quick evaluations and care. Liver failure, when it's bad, interferes with growth. It can interfere with their, uh, you know, their uh, ability to, um, to think and uh, their cognition. And keeping Central Florida families close to home helps patients and their doctors long after surgery. You know, the care of a transplant patient is lifelong, so even after the initial acute phase is over, we will still see them, you know, for the rest of their life on, a, you know, on at least a monthly basis. The Agency for Healthcare Administration approved Florida Hospital's request to develop this program. The doctors tell me they anticipate listing the very first patients in January. Getting results for your health, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.